All right, back for episode five. And it looks like at the end of the last turn, I moved all these troops into Bulgaria. I'm assuming I issued all the orders I wanted to for recruitment and construction and whatnot. Appears to be the case. Check on public order before I end this turn. Everything looks good. The four ships right now. And the Byzantines have, looks like just two fleets. It's possible they have stuff in the Sea of Crete. I can't imagine they would be elsewhere, <clears throat> given where they had territory. Looks like they're not fully withdrawn from Bulgaria. Although, I guess they will. Okay. Doesn't say how long it will last. One year, okay. So they've got a five star general. Their king is four stars, so hopefully they send him. Pretty good amount of troops in there. All right, and we see the Byzantine fleet is moving in our direction. I believe they can move two tiles at a time because of their speed. Their uh, speed stat. These gentlemen over. Enforcements to Constantinople. This guy does not have a move command. Get him there as well. Everybody else appears to be moving. Get some ships in the next turn. And in Georgia, Janissary Archers. Wait, if I check at this place. Farming isn't great. We get one more level of... Actually, no, it will not. Hmm. No tradable goods there. guys of Constantinople instead. Although, you know what? I should get a port for the sake of troop transportation. Yeah, we'll do that. Constantinople, also public order. We'll have some troops arriving in there though, so they should be fine. And then, I'm not gonna assault the castle <clears throat> because probably lose a lot more troops and then that increases the risk of a counterattack coming. Now something tells me that it's probably worth me sending some of these troops from Greece into there. And they've got a decent amount of cavalry from their Royalty. So what I'll do is I'll empty these camels out of Greece, put them in Bulgaria because the Italians don't have any cavalry bordering us. So that is generally what camels will be used for countering. <clears throat> and that should be good. Again, shortly I'll want to start moving troops up to Khazar and expanding around here, but for now, until I've got a, a border secured against the European factions over here, I don't want to be overly ambitious. The 
quick check on the dip diplomatic situation. So the Polish are the only people bordering us that aren't at war with someone other than the Egyptians, but I'm kind of not counting them because we are allied. They are likely allied with anybody else that they're bordering because they're allied with the Spanish. So I do have to be aware of the possibility of them backstabbing me. In fact, it might make sense for me to keep a good amount of troops stockpiled in rum at some point. But I'm not overly concerned about it. They don't have too many troops built up along the border. So given financial situation, we'll keep up recruitment. Byzantines counterattack. Only one more turn after this for taking Bulgaria. King of France offers an alliance. Okay, see, so he's at war with the Egyptians now. I wonder when that happened. It must have been this turn. So I'll refuse that. Not a reasonable endeavor for me. Now I had been wanting to get a shipwright and a merchant in Nicaea. I actually did not pay attention to what happened with the Byzantine ships there. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. There we go, so... More ships incoming. Move some more troops in for the next push. Well, that'll all get resorted after the siege anyways. So I'll leave them be. Let's actually move some troops up to Khazar. I feel I'll have enough men after the battle with the Byzantines to hold the area. <clears throat> and it's likely that a lot of the troops that we'll run into up in this area are going to be cavalry. Right. Okay. So for Greece, we'll go for our port. And then for keep. Anatolia, we will go for No trade goods, so I'm too worried about getting a port set up here. Public order is good. We'll go for a mosque and a what's a specialty here? Turkmen foot soldiers. Mosque and a archery range. I feel like the Turkmen troops tend to have some kind of bow weapon. Yusaris. For a mosque and a... Hmm. What is this troop called, Yusaris? I'll just go for a moss for now. I feel like every episode I'm 
I'm still racking my brain trying to figure out what that could be. Finances are decent. Still got over 2,000 income. I figure that's a that's a decent amount to keep training troops given how much territory I have. Producing. Okay, so hmm. good amount of trade goods here actually. No special units. Definitely want to get a mosque. I think you might need a. Where, where am I building a mosque? Looks like you need a keep to get a mosque. So. We'll go about it that way. Counterattack is likely incoming. So let's see how that goes. In fact, who can get an ALC? Do that. I'm gonna get that place up to high taxes. Set that for when we invade. King of Poland has died. Byzantine Emperor died. I don't think the Byzantine Emperor dying does too much because he wasn't their best general. Okay. Okay, so here's their fleet. Looks like they got three ships out here. Keep the keep the recruiting going. These areas. Constantinople. Let's see how much starting to get any meaningful trade. Not too much yet. That should change once we get more presence on the sea. But in the meantime, we'll go for a border fort. And actually, you know what? We'll go for a mosque. I want to start converting the, the population here. Trebizond, this place, we're going for some kind of archer unit, Trebizond archer, so. Just go straight for the castle and see if they're available at the next level of the bowyer. Okay. I do have stuff queued up. Send more guys up to Kazar. Five in Constantinople. Let's see, one forty, one thirty is fine. Okay, so we own this now. Own Bulgaria. They do have tradable goods, so we'll go for a watchtower. Trading post and a port. And then Bulgaria has not great farms, but decent enough that we'll want to upgrade that. And I think it is time. Ooh, look at that. Rebellion in Poland. In fact, that might be a that might be a civil war. 
So, given the fact that they're going to have to deal with that, what I'm thinking is we'll go to seal the deal against the Byzantines. Twenty-four. Let's cut it close. One hundred five. Okay. Do that. Getting the watchtowers will help the next turn, anyways. Also train some archers. Should be good for troop count at the moment. Hmm. Forget if I check construction. I believe I did. Yep. Now, given what we just saw in Moldavia, I'm feeling that Crimea might be a good target. Although the income there is not too much. 194, let's see. Chernigov is good. Crimea. Hmm. Crimea is a is a sea region though, and it has trade access, so I figure that's that's somewhere we'll want to go. So let's see. Let's throw some troops together for a little raiding force. So they have cavalry and spears. Go with our own spears. Some of these beat up troops. Let's see what happens if we do this. Is that 130? I'm 17. Alright. That'll be enough to take them out. <clears throat> Okay, that was too much. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> okay, some more troop activity from the Italians over there. Am I going to be able to hold public order there? Oh wow, they have way less troops than I thought they did. There we go. I forget what the difference between doing these is. I feel like I looked at this online before I finished the Aragon campaign I did, but let's see. All right, good man. go. <laughs> nice little music. Alright, so three and three. I don't know how my ships compare to theirs. One, one, two. Although he's got command, he's got two command. I'm gonna... Oh, okay, I have two command as well. I'm gonna fight this. I feel like, I, I gotta say, for the last campaign, I feel like the auto-resolve on ship battles, not, not, not that you can manually conduct the combat, but the auto-resolve on ship battles really seems to favor the computers. I don't know if that's a thing or if I was just imagining it from how my last campaign went, but... Alright, we need public order here. Okay, what is going on? Need public order here. Need public order here. We're going to need it here as well. Let's see. Alright, let's do a temporary resolution for these places. I don't have to bring taxes down. So what we'll do is we'll send one guy here. One guy, whoop. Okay, over there. And... These two over here, 
and these guys here. Crimea is a mess. Put that on the lowest we can. Okay. That was enough. Barely. So... One year until that's done. And then that is a good cue to start redistributing troops. Six more squads. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that leaves a full stack here. And who wants to be our... Okay, this guy will be our our um, Prince of Bulgaria. Okay. Edessa, we can do some construction in now. Because of the public order situation, it's gonna go for a town guard and a mosque. Crimea is blank right now. Do that. And we'll want to move more troops into there to <clears throat> increase our, what do you call it? Our loyalty. so much for my expedition up in this direction. I didn't realize how many troops I was going to need to keep in Crimea just to hold public order. And this is on very low taxes. I guess it's not that many troops now that I look at how beat up some of them are, but no worries. Curious to see how this ship battle goes with the Byzantines. Let's see. The Germans are also allied with the Egyptians. My only concern is if I accept this alliance, are the Hungarians going to want to attack me? But you know what? Maybe maybe it's a good time to make this interesting and uh, go forward with that because I'm not going to have any opponents after this next turn. Well, actually, no, the Byzantines still exist on SC. Hmm. You know what, let's do it. Put a little interesting spin on the campaign. Now, the Byzantines split up their navy, so... We're going to launch another attack here. Let's check if the... Our objectives have not changed recently, so we're all good there. Now, as far as military, so we're going to have to work our way out into these areas so we can start attacking the islands, but as far as military movement, time to start moving up towards Khazar with more troops. Italians have a decent presence over here. About to fall. Okay, so my emissaries, I want to move around and get an idea of what's going on with the Hungarians and the Germans. 
Is that the only emissary I had? So we'll train a bunch of these guys. There is a list I can use to find, okay. Well, Lockie, okay, so. I had been forgetting about these guys. So I'll move one to Austria, one to Bohemia. In fact, given their spacing, I'm not even sure if this makes a difference, but we'll do that. And uh, just get an eye on what's going on with those factions. Construction in Georgia, again, no trade goods here. Janissary Archers as the next tier, so we'll go for go for a castle there. If there's anywhere else I can train emissaries from. Like it's just rum. Some more ships coming. Public order is good. Yep. All right. Okay. I'm gonna push out into the sea, so. Hmm. This will go for roads. Now we are bordering. The Hungarians who are at war with our allies. So, I want to prepare accordingly. A lot of construction got done now. Constantinople is a mess because of what happened with the plague. So, we'll solve that with some more troops being redirected. that way gotta be conscious of our finances I can see the money's dipped a little bit nothing too substantial but enough that I want to be on top of that some more public order here same thing here So, time to redistribute things around this area. That will be an excellent, excellent guy to have. As a lord there. <clears throat> we'll have our king keep marching around. Conquering. Oopsies, did not mean to do that. Now let's make sure we get him suited up with a good army. Siege equipment. Lots of spears is probably more than enough. More cavalry. Can we fit any more archers? Okay, cavalry archers. And 
one more squad of troops. That should be good. So for our king, let's get him down to Constantinople. He will march out of there. And we are going to get this gentleman a force of his own. He's going to be responsible for guarding Wallachia. Oh. <laughs> okay. Troops are close enough to full. Alright, so we are six troops short here. Send those troops over to Bulgaria, make sure we've got that protected. Can I get into... turn and check how we're doing financially after some more what do you call it <clears throat> some more of this construction gets queued up emissary should be moving in that direction over towards the battle lines of the Germans and the Hungarians that will give us a sense of how freely we can expand to the northeast because if the enemy of our ally is winning that battle we'll want to be prepared to be the next um would you call it the next target okay construction wise for I gotta send some of those troops packing in the wrong direction. So you guys are supposed to be going to Wallachia, not Bulgaria. You are meant to be coming here. Grand Mosque. Okay. Hmm. Should get an imam, or not an imam, an alim there. And. I'm going to move one ship back to the Aegean Sea. I don't want to lose transportation access to roads. As far as construction here in Constantinople, get a border fort. Public order was rough when that famine hit. Now in Rome, we are going for these Ottoman infantry. Still have not quite figured out how to get them, but Spearmaker's Workshop might be a step in the right direction. And the Chancellery is also going to be probably good because I believe that unlocks a new title to be distributed. How are we doing with men here? They don't affect taxes anywhere. I can't remember if I adjusted them. 
a quick check on all my provinces to make sure that I've got them on very high everywhere. And where was that? Edessa, we gotta get our public order up, so. It's in the works. Do a little bit more recruitment. And what is the stance between the Germans and the Italians? There is none. The Hungarians are allied with the Italians. That is another thing I gotta be aware of. Which makes them just a little bit more likely to not not enjoy my presence along their border. Set for this turn. Quick check on the timer. 36 minutes in. French are the strongest. Hmm. This guy's allied with the Germans and the Egyptians. It's also allied with the Byzantines and the Italians in the Polish. Hmm. I almost want to say yes because maybe that will improve our relationship with the Poles and the Italians, but. I mean, I'm going to have to attack people anyways. There's not really going to be a point in this campaign where it makes sense for me to slow down. So we'll say no for now. Same with the English. Should have more boats somewhere, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna hit roads. What? Do I wish to wage war against them? How are we neutral? How are we neutral with these guys? They weren't allied with the Germans, were they? They definitely are now, but I don't see how that could have happened. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna finish them off. I don't know how that happened. I wonder if I clicked something and wasn't paying attention. All right. So these guys are on the way. You guys can back out. We'll move these guys actually into Constantinople. In fact, no, we'll move them to Khazar. Got a decent little force forming up here. Not enough to hold public order somewhere when I capture it, so. See who wants to be okay. That's pretty good. He'll head up Crimea. The construction check. Okay, Anatolia.
is a farming life in Wallachia. It's pretty decent. Constantinople. I think I might have forgotten to queue up construction here. In the last turn. Hmm. What do I want here? We'll go for... Go for a merchant skill, a merchant skill, and should be good. I think I'm all right on ship production for now. Let's see, I've got two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine ships. That'll be ten. I think 10 ships should be good enough for maintaining what I do at the sea, or what I have at the sea right now, getting to where I want to. Get some more guys moving up to there. Check income is almost 3,000. I'd say that's good enough to do some more recruitment with. Archers, spears, horse archers, heavy cavalry. Still got emissaries going up there in rum. Okay, so that is Hungarian. Let's check that. is set. Got another force building up here. got a, another star in command for defeating one squad of spearmen. Okay. Very nice. Who wants to be the governor of Rhodes? This guy. ships give us access to Crete I want to keep my, my boats in pairs for the most part so that they've got defense against any opposition navies oh, okay can't fit all of them in there that's fine I'll put these guys in the oh can't fit them in there well good enough I'll just leave him there I might be being a little bit OCD with how many troops I'm putting in these different provinces. But I do think having a full stack in Bulgaria and Wallachia is definitely appropriate, given what the Hungarians have over here. Even in Greece, although the Italians don't have much, this guy can react into Bulgaria with his force. Just having that as an option is useful. Got the public order up here a little bit. So we'll go for the keep. And we're getting close to being able to move out here. So 
I believe I just did a round of recruiting. size force here now again I could I could easily beat these guys in combat but the question is can I maintain public order in a province once I capture it so I'm looking at the timer and we're at the 45 minute mark just about to be 46 so that seems like a good time to end the episode and in fact, what I'll do is I'll send the majority of these troops up to Khazar. Still got good public order in Constantinople. But I'll leave a few troops just in case. Now we're going to want to move out of Rhodes soon. Probably just go straight over to, the Cy over to Cyprus after that. And... Very, very close to finishing off the Byzantines. I still have no idea how that war got put on pause between us and the Byzantines after I took their mainland areas. It seemed like, yeah, I just can't say. The Almohads are back. The Egyptians are at war with them and the French. The French are at war with just about everybody. We've got our new, new alliance with the Germans. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.